Welcome back to the most news in the morning. You know, there is no such thing as a cigarette that's good for you. We all know that. Tobacco companies are not allowed to put low tar or even light on packaging anymore. But they are allowed to market their brands with colors, which is sending up some new smoke signals that you need to be aware of. Our Jason Carroll joins us now with that. Good morning. Yeah, colors, and they've changed their wording just a little bit. You know, from the tobacco company's point of view, they've gone far enough. They've switched their labels to be in compliance with the new law. But one study shows they may need to go even further if consumers are to be protected. Light, ultralight, low tar. Soon you won't find them on cigarettes anymore. Federal regulators ban the use of those terms, saying cigarette companies were selling smokers on the idea one type of cigarette might be healthier. The American Cancer Society says light cigarettes are just as harmful as regular cigarettes. Now cigarette companies are rolling out updated branding with names like blue and silver. But is it the same old smoke and mirrors? Some researchers say yes. The new descriptors, which will be allowed under the new legislation, are having the same misleading deceptive effect as the old ones that will be banned. Canadian researchers did tests showing people the new wording on similar packaging. In one sample, 83% rated silver cigarettes as delivering less tar than the brand labeled full flavor. If, if we put the word silver on a pack, if we put the word white, if we put the word smooth, they were just as likely to think that that brand was less harmful. We did our own unscientific experiment. We showed people two packs of Pall Malls, one red, the other blue, and asked which one, if any, they thought was healthier. Well, I could see blue being, yeah, the lighter one of the two. Blue is like water instead of the red is like fire. So red is more severe, like code red is more severe than, I don't know. Does it make any sense? It makes sense to marketing experts when you consider before the new legislation passed, Pall Mall Blues were labeled Pall Mall Lights. Color is a fabulous way to keep sending the message home. Fabulous. Wonderful. I want it now. It's going to satiate a need I have. Um, so I think it's fabulous messaging and really lousy for society. Researchers from the Canadian study say cigarette companies should be banned from using certain words and colors to which the R.J. Reynolds Tobacco Company, maker of Pall Mall cigarettes, told CNN, this is really a common sense issue. There are hundreds of brands and styles of cigarettes on the market. Consumers need a way to distinguish what brand and style they want to purchase. Well, um, R.J. Reynolds also told CNN that their new packaging is designed to adhere to the new law. The law passed back in June mandates all tobacco companies be in compliance by June of next year. But there is one more hurdle it must clear. The tobacco industry has filed suit against the federal government to try and block the ban on labeling cigarettes light or mild. I think those people who want to crack down on cigarettes would ultimately like to see one color, perhaps white for all cigarettes. Mm. Or no cigarettes. Or no cigarettes, exactly. <laughs> Jason Carroll for us this morning. Jason, thanks so much.